Hey everybody, Chef Britt here with ATBBQ.com and today I'm going to show you something special. Salt and vinegar crispy smashed potatoes. All right, so what makes these potatoes so special? It's all about technique. So we're going to be using a nice small waxy variety of a fingerling potato. We're going to boil them until they're just barely cooked. We're gonna cool them down and then we're gonna pan fry them right on the grill and we're gonna season them with this amazing wing dust from Cosmos Q. It's a salt and vinegar blend um, that's actually made for chicken wings, but it works so well on top of potatoes too. So let's put it all together. All right, so to get things going, I'm going to start with cold water in my saucepan here. And because these are such a small variety, it's only gonna take maybe a couple minutes after it comes up to a boil to really cook them through a little bit longer if you're working with slightly larger potatoes. Now the reason why we start with this cold water is so that we can have an even dispersion of heat and we don't just blast the outside before we can ever actually cook the inside. All right, so it's important to note that after you are done cooking those potatoes all the way through, that we cool them completely before trying to smash them. Now the reason why we are doing that is because the starches, which you have cooked water into, are gelatinized and they're floating around and they're kind of all over the place because of the heat. If we were to smash them, our potatoes would just kind of burst open. What we need to happen is called starch retrogradation. And basically, the starch molecules that were free floating realign themselves and become longer chains. And so that means when we go to smash them, they stay in a better spot and they make them easier to handle and makes it better for frying later. So once they're cooled, you're ready to smash them. Now I've got some that I made here a few days ago and you can get really a week almost a week ahead if you want and pull them out as you want um, but once they're cooled they're ready to smash and they'll hold their shape very well they're holding their shape very nicely now this technique works with any variety of smaller waxy potatoes. So if you've got Yukon Golds, you've got Fingerlings, you've got Dutch baby potatoes, there's a whole world out there of smaller waxy potatoes this can work with. But we're gonna use this teeny tiny variety today. Now you can use any sort of skillet, heavy bottom, flat, bowl or plate to smash these. I'm just kind of using this bowl so you can kind of see through what's happening. So the reason too why we are smashing these is to expose the creamy innards. And those are the parts that are gonna actually get really crispy when we go to fry them. So today I'm going to be using the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill to do our frying. Now you can use any number of direct heat sources to get the job done, but I'm just going to show you how we do it on the Yoder. So I've got the door on the two-piece diffuser off, and I also have taken off the second shelf so I can have ease of access for my frying pan. Now I'm going to coat the bottom. We're gonna be really generous with how much oil we use. I'd say this is probably close to a quarter cup, if not a little bit more, just to get a shallow layer of avocado oil. So I'm gonna let you know, avocado oil is the best oil for the job. And that is because it has a great high smoking point. It also has an extremely neutral flavor. If anything, it's a little buttery. And for whatever reason, it just makes the crispiest potatoes. All right, so we're right around 350 degrees, which is perfect. Now it's one thing to note, I've got the uh, temperature set on this pellet grill to just over 400 degrees, and that's keeping the pellets uh, constantly feeding into the firebox. And that way we can have this sort of direct heat source. Now I've got a pound of cooked potatoes so I'm probably gonna just do a couple rounds of this. 
and replenish the oil if I see fit. And we'll go ahead and close the door. Let's see how these are doing. It's been about six minutes now. So this is a really beautiful color and we can go a little further too. The deeper the color, the crispier the final result. So I might just give these a couple more minutes before we flip them. All right, so I think I'm gonna flip these, just kind of get it going here. Got a blast of smoke in my eyes there. Now that's beautiful right there. That's gonna be some crispy gold right there. All right, we'll give those another five minutes with the door closed. Oh, I'm so excited about these. Look at that, that's looking just gorgeous. All right, let's get these pulled. Alright, so I'm getting these dried off on this paper towel. We'll get the next round frying. I'm gonna just pat these a little bit. And then we're gonna get the wing dust on here. Now this is the salt and vinegar variety. And you can go as little or as much as you like. I think these are so buttery and delicious that you can kind of go overboard with it a little bit and they'll still be just amazing. And I'm going to go ahead and get them seasoned on both sides. So a crispy potato is best served hot, so I'm going to grab one of these and take a bite. You hear that? Oh my gosh. Guys, you get that tang, you get some salt, you get a little herbiness, it's super buttery. And the inside is also a little creamy. And the skin's really nice because it gives an extra potato-y flavor. Guys, you'd be a fool to not make these. Well, that wraps it up for me today. I'm glad you joined me as I showed you all of my tips and tricks for making crispy fried smashed potatoes. If you want to check out all of the different flavors of wing dust we have, check out atbbq.com. We've got a whole line of them and they're really versatile. I also encourage you to check out the full recipe in the link down below. And again, if you want to check out any products, grills, or tools that we use today, check out atbbq.com. All Things Barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.